Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode on the IGC Coaching School YouTube channel. I am your host, Liv Chapman. I am the CEO and the co-founder of IGC. We offer lots and lots and lots of hours of coaching education, certification, ICF accredited, all of that. And I'm here today to talk to you about how to find an excellent coach training or certification program. Now, obviously, as the founder of a coaching education company, I think ours is the best. So you can stop wasting your time. You can skip this video, like it first if you don't mind, and just go right to the links below to join our school and to get certified through IGC. But if you're the investigator type, if you're the researcher type, if you're just really obsessed with watching our channel, then watch the whole video and take a note or take notes on what to look for in a solid certification program. Now, there's a lot of things to look for. I'm going to go through six of the main things and I'm going to weave in my personal experience as well as what we offer in IGC. But at the end of the day, I want you to remember that certification absolutely matters. 87% of consumers prefer a coach who is certified and credentialed. I know what you're thinking. If you've been doing a lot of research, you see all these different price tags, okay? And let me tell you, they range from about $49. I've seen Facebook and Instagram ads for $49 become a life coach. When you invest $49 in your coaching education, expect to see that level of return. Okay. I'm just being honest. You're not going to know anything. You're not going to be prepared. Maybe it's a good little test run to see if you like the idea of becoming a coach, but I'm not saying you have to make a massive investment to see massive results, but you have to expect to invest a decent amount of money. I have seen the best programs anywhere from 6000 to about 20000 IGC is right, I would say, in the low to mid investment range, depending on which level of credential you want and whether you want, you know, 125 hours or 60 hours. There's a few different ways to play. You can expect to see tuition rates at IGC around seven or eight and upwards, depending on the add-ons that you choose to have. So I'm going to put that out there first. It's not cheap to get started. It shouldn't be. You don't want people who are not investing in their coaching education and in their business as your coach, I assume. Maybe I shouldn't assume because we know what that means. But you want to expect high level investment equals high level results. Okay. It is what it is. Hustle is also part of growing your coaching business, but that's another video. So what are you going to look for as you are considering becoming a certified coach? First and foremost, you're going to look at the accreditation. The International Coach Federation or the ICF is the main accrediting body of coaching institutions. The accreditation matters. No, legally, you don't need one. You don't need a certification. You don't need a credential. You don't need to go to accredited school. You can go to all your social media profiles right now and slap coach on your bio and start selling coaching services. Will that work? Yeah, if you're a celebrity or an influencer or have a huge following, if you're a normal person who's trying to leave their nine to five and start a little company and change people's lives and make an impact and, you know, sell workshops and maybe speak at events and have one-on-one -on -one clients and maybe sell a digital course, it's going to matter. 87% of people who invest in coaching, meaning people who have actually paid for coaching and will pay for coaching in the future, not people who just DM you for free advice, those people prefer a credential. So there you have it. Go to an accredited place. They should have an ICF stamp of approval, a level one, a level two, something that shows that they have been accredited. Not only is the accreditation proof that the content of their curriculum is excellent and is aligned with excellence in coaching, but it also means that we must sign our lives away to ethics, meaning we must be professional. We must abide by their ethics and guidelines and Thank God, because I've seen some unethical shit in the coaching industry, and that also is another video. Next thing you're going to look for, curriculum. You want to make sure it is a robust curriculum. I think as unsexy as it is, that's the best thing about IGC. Our curriculum is 
chef's kiss, okay? All of the fundamentals, all of the ICF learning standards are covered, and we have an entire six-figure certified business curriculum built in there. I'm gonna get to that business component in a minute, but our curriculum is robust. It includes live classes taught by a real instructor. It includes partner coaching, where you're actually practicing being a coach from the beginning of training so you actually know if you're good. Those calls are evaluated sometimes so you actually get some feedback. And you are not only a partner coach, but you are a partner client. So you are able to receive coaching while you go through training. And if anyone is you know, adding a new skill set or quitting a nine to five or diversifying their income, there's a lot of things that come up with that. So having a coach beside you, walking beside you the whole time, super helpful. A lot of things come up when you commit to changing your life, okay? So you are a coach, you are being coached, you have live classes, there's workbooks, there's some written work, there's a community, there is so much opportunity for all the different learning styles. But the most important learning style that you need to make sure any coach training program that you decide to go through has is some experiential learning, meaning you should not hate to say what you should and shouldn't do, but you should not take a fully self-paced online or digital course to learn coaching skills. Why? Research shows that only 10% or less people actually complete a fully digital self-paced course, whereas 90% of people complete a course that's taught live. So set yourself up for success right away. When you're starting a coaching business, your service or your product, whatever you want to call it, is coaching. So how are you going to know if you have a great product or service if you're not actually practicing and getting feedback? How are you going to watch a video by yourself, execute upon what you learned, but never get any feedback on it, and then feel confident to go out to the marketplace and sell coaching services? Make it make sense. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's one thing I've learned as I've aged. If it doesn't make sense, it doesn't make sense. You know what I'm saying? So find a program that has a live, majority live talk component and offers you feedback and evaluation. The number one reason that I see coaches failing when it comes to business is that they don't feel confident in selling their product. Learning sales skills, that's something that can be taught. You can study it, you can get better at it, you can practice it. But if you can't sell something that you don't believe in, So you've got to be sure that you're really excellent at what you do. And of course that builds referrals, it builds your network, it has people screaming from the rooftops that you're the best coach ever, which automatically fills your pipeline without as much ad spend or marketing time, budget, all of that, okay? So number one was accreditation. Number two is a curriculum that has some experiential component to it. Number three, instructors. I don't know how many people have come to us after going through some celebrity sold coaching certification. I'm not going to name names, but there are a ton of celebrities and influencers that are now selling some type of coach training. Most of them are unaccredited or accredited by these not real things that don't really have any standards. They're selling you these digital courses that's backed by their name. So of course they're going to sell a ton of them. And then you're coming to me, which is fine. Keep coming and you don't actually know how to coach, you never got any feedback, you don't know how to market, you have no community, you have no professional network, and you're you're starting over again and therefore probably doubling the investment. And some of these programs are double the investment of IGC. So again, I don't really know how that makes sense. I do understand the attraction of some of the celebrity-led programs, but I highly, highly suggest that you look a little bit deeper. I'm not saying that they're all bad. There are probably some great gems in there, but this is not just a for fun thing. I don't think anybody's spending three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars just to have fun taking an online course. Most people are starting at the because they want to change their lives on a deep transformational level. You're not going to have been in a self-paced classroom. Not going to happen. You're not going to get the same level of transformation as being live with actual humans who care about you. Okay? So make sure your instructors are legit. Most of the celebrities, maybe they pre-recorded some nice little video trainings for you, but they're not actually teaching you live. They've hired people to do it. What are those people's credentials? I don't know. You want to make sure they're credentialed, they're certified, they're trained, they have some type of experience or education. Education in education would be great. 
you want to make sure they're legit. And again, some of these big marketing companies that are in disguise as coach training companies, they're marketing things like, I made $100,000 this week. Okay, that doesn't tell me that you know shit about coaching. It tells me that you're a great marketer or a great salesperson. So just dig a little deeper than the glossy headlines, okay? Make sure that their students are actually having success. More on that in a minute. So instructors, look into them. Make sure they're credentialed. Make sure they're certified. Next piece, make sure there's a business component. A lot of people come to us and they're like, I don't know if I, I just want to be a coach. And like, maybe I want to coach internally for an organization or bring coaching to my current organization or, you know, just coach at the job or have the coaching certification so that you have it. I mean, most people don't think about it as just a nice to have, although it is a nice to have. It's come in handy on a daily basis as a parent. But I highly suggest that you enroll in a program that offers business, marketing, sales, branding, all of that training. IGC does, like I mentioned, we have an entire six-figure certified curriculum. It literally gives you everything you need to run a six-figure business. Every single, like literally there's nothing missing from this curriculum. It's not like you have one marketing exercise and one, no, I've seen those too. But look at the economy, okay? You may be thinking you want to have this as a nice to have, but also wouldn't it be nice to have an additional couple thousand dollars of income coming in each month because you're you know, growing your coaching business on the side, or God forbid, you decide you want to travel the world and quit your nine to five in a few years. Let me, the person I was five years ago is absolutely not the person that I am today. Who knows what it's going to be like five years from now, but why not? If you're making a big investment anyway, make sure the business stuff is there for you. Maybe you don't want to execute it on it all right now, but in the future, you may want to. Not sure if you're new here, but the economy is pretty unstable. The only thing you can really bet on is yourself. So make sure that business stuff is infused in the course that you're taking, okay? It's like insurance. Just make sure you have it. Just make sure you have it. Next thing, number five, community. Don't work in isolation. Don't work in a vacuum. It is so boring for one. It's so demotivating. And there is countless research that shows that true accountability comes in true partnership. And again, true partnership is something that can only be created in real time with real humans who care about you. I don't know how many times I have to say that. We don't need to be working in isolation. We don't need to be working alone in a vacuum. We need to be in spaces and in communities where there is some level of accountability, okay? How that looks in IGC is you have lifetime access to our six-figure circle membership, which includes live coaching calls with actual credentialed and certified coaches. Every single week, there's usually two. There's live co-working every single week. So that to-do list that you don't feel like doing, that's where you come live body doubling, I've heard it called. You sit in the Zoom room, you declare what you're going to get done in that hour, and you actually get stuff done. Okay, that's live accountability. That's community. And also networking. We have a monthly networking event. You break out into different rooms. You meet new people, your potential new business partners, your collaborators. We have these little marketing pods where people are liking and sharing and interacting with one another's content to build up their following and to help them get more exposure and you know the algorithm and all that stuff I don't totally understand but it works okay you're working in community people notice when you fall off and don't we all need that sometimes I know I do the last thing I want you to look for is real testimonials I am not interested and I beg you to not be interested in the coach or the coach training company that's bragging about how much money they have made. Like I said before, it is not about them, it's about their student success. You want to make sure that some of their students actually have had similar success to what you desire to create, okay? We have had students who, quite frankly, have built bigger companies than I have. We, they've been way more successful in different areas. We have had students that make a couple thousand dollars extra a month. We have students that make millions of dollars a year. You want to know that this is possible through the training that you go through. It is not about the trainer. It is not about the one running the company and how they had a 10K day or none of that matters. You want to talk to the students. You want to see their testimonials. That's what speaks volumes. That's what gives you that sense of, 
okay, if they can do it, I can do it. Or at least, you know, people have done what you have wanted to do. There are someone who, someone who has created similar results that you want to create. Okay. Ask for the testimonials. And if they're just posted on the website, Google those people, go see if they have a legit business, go find them, go DM them, ask them. Okay. One of the ways, again, I told you I was going to pitch IGC the whole time because it's the best coach training company in the world, but even all of our salespeople or admissions advisors have gone through the program. They have gone through IGC. They have, they are six figure certified coaches. So it's proof right there of possibility. Do not trust blindly. Do a little research. Activate that conscious consumer that I know you are if you've made it this far in this video and get some actual proof, okay? So just to summarize, obviously your number one choice for a coach training program is IGC. Go to innerglowcircle.com slash life coach to get started. It's step-by-step -step guide. It's totally free. But if you're still shopping because you need to investigate, you need to do your proper research. I get it. Big investments take big research, take, you know, big commitment. Here's what I want you to be looking for. One, full accreditation. Okay. Two, high level, robust curriculum. Make sure it's not 100% self-paced. You may think that sounds nice. It's not going to work. You may be one of the 10% that actually finish a self-paced course, but even if you do that, where's the confidence in your coaching skills if you haven't been evaluated by someone with excellence in coaching? Okay, so find a curriculum that's live taught and that there's feedback and evaluation built in and built in well, preferably by someone with a teaching degree. Next thing you want to do is figure out who the instructors actually are, especially if you're looking at one of these like influencer or celebrity led programs. Is that person actually teaching you or have they hired other instructors and are those other instructors trained to teach or do they hold a credential or a certification, right? Make sure they are legit. Next thing business curriculum, whether you know you want to go part-time, full-time, no time in a business, get the business stuff. Because even if you're internal, you're going to be selling your ideas. You're going to be pitching your concepts. You're going to need help creating your offers, whether they're inside of your current organization or they're sold externally in your own business. Okay. Get it. It's nice to have a lot of business skills to, can translate to so many different things that you do. And there is nothing like the confidence that comes from creating a business. You got to be a little bit mad to do it. We love it. We love the crazy ladies. Okay. Number five, community networking and professional development. You want to have something that is going to support you after the class ends. Uh, you want to have something that offers innovative new ways to stay connected through professional development, like coaching or fresh trainings. The industry is changing and growing rapidly. So Every profession pretty much has an opportunity for professional development. I even remember back in my public school teaching days, we had professional development all the time. I actually liked it. Maybe that's why we build so much of it into IGC. But you want to stay up to date on best practices. You want to stay well supported. Duh. So make sure there's something. It's not just a check out now and bye type of situation. You want to have the networking. You want to have the people, the accountability. There's so much that comes from it. And the last thing I'm going to say about the community piece is you're going to find friends. I don't know how many people I have been to so many weddings of students and trainers and such at IGC. I have seen people go to one another's baby showers and kids' birthday parties and driving across the country to meet each other and doing these virtual coffee dates. And I think that at this point, maybe my only friends are in IGC wouldn't have it any other, any other way. But there's that sense of community that is built, again, when you actually interact live with humans, okay? And then the last thing, find legit testimonials, talk to people who have graduated from their program, try to find yourself in one of these graduates. I'm not saying copy them, but I'm saying like, okay, I really want to be a successful career coach. Does this school have a successful career coach that I could speak to or whatever niche it is that you want? Find someone who's doing what you want to be doing and check in with them. Ask them how their experience was. See if they will be willing to hop on a call or share with you. And if you can't find someone, we can, of course, connect you with one of our graduates if IGC is something that you're looking at. But if a school is gatekeeping their graduates and not letting you actually hear the results, that's a huge red flag. Okay. 
And if you are searching and you can't find any that, you know, seem successful or legit or they all look like bots, red flag, red flag. You should be able to speak to someone who has successfully gone through the coaching program that you would like to go through and actually get some feedback on the experience to make sure it aligns. And we all like a little proof of concept. If we're putting five to 10 grand into something, I think we want to know that it works. All right. I hope this was helpful. If you found this at all helpful, please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue bringing you high value coaching education content. And also maybe share this with your friend who you know has been like looking at different coaching programs for years and hasn't pulled the trigger yet. I hope this helps you and I will see you next time.